But we are going to start right here. A bench warrant has been issued for a Cattaraugus County man accused of threatening Black Lives Matter protesters with a knife and then failing to show up to court, not once, but twice now. If police come across Michael Creeman, they're expected to bring him into custody. But as our Jeff Preval tells us, Creeman is already believed to have made one threat against law enforcement. And the DA's office told us last week that it got an email they believe from the defendant in this case and that it was threatening towards police. Now with today's bench warrant being issued, that raises some questions about possible precautions that police may need to take if they come across Michael Creeman. Now, if you're not familiar with that name, Creeman is accused of directing racial slurs numerous times toward protesters during a Black Lives Matter protest in August on Hurdle Ave. He's also accused, as you can see from this picture, of displaying a knife. He faces counts of criminal possession of a weapon, harassment, and menacing as a hate crime. Police say prior to being charged, he did turn himself in. Since then, he has not been cooperative, failing to appear to a judge last week. And then again today, the DA's office says that it received an email they believe from Creeman characterizing police as dangerous, who will be punished. DA John Flynn tried to get a Superior Court judge to issue an arrest warrant, but that did not happen because Superior Court judges don't have jurisdiction over city court matters. Now, City Court Judge Barbara Johnson Lee did issue that no appearance bench warrant for Creeman. Today, we requested an interview with DA John Flynn. However, we have been told that he will not discuss this case further until the defendant is arraigned. In Buffalo, I'm Jeff Perval, Channel 2 News.